Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sarika Mahol, Associate Professor in Sara Group of Institutions, Bhopal. I today will discuss about security analysis and investment management of MBA third semester. And the topic I am going to discuss with you today is security and investment. So moving on to the first slide. What is investment? An investment is the commitment of money or other resources in the expectation of obtaining future benefits. We normally make investment to get returns on that in the future period of time. So that is known as investment. Investment is that thing in which we sacrifice money or our other resources in the expectation of obtaining future profits. These are the another uh, uh, some other definition of investment in different meaning. It involves employment of funds with the aim of achieving additional income or growth in values. Like for example, we normally keep uh, our savings into our bank or fixed deposits. If we keep uh, if we kept our savings at home, so that does not give you any additional income. So that is why when we just save that money in the bank, then we'll get extra returns or extra rate of interest over that savings account. So that is known as additional income or growth in values. Similarly, we can spend that money on LIC, on mutual funds, on on SIP plans, so that we can get the additional income over that. So basically, these are the three ways with the help of which we can employ our funds. We can lend money to another on the basis of interest, and if we lend money to the other person, we'll get interest over that. If we purchase the gold, then obviously value appreciation appreciation will be there. For example, if we have purchased the gold at the rate of twenty thousand uh, per ten grams, so nowadays the gold rate is so much high. So if you want to sell that, we'll get the benefit of that appreciation amount. Similarly, if you purchase any insurance plan, so insurance plan definitely promises you certain future benefits. So the essential quality of an investment is that it involves waiting for a reward. We basically wait for the reward. It can be a long term wait or short term wait also. <coughs> Now these are the another definitions of investment in terms of economics and financial. First of all, the same definition: investment is the employment of funds. on assets to earn income or capital appreciation why we are saying capital appreciation because cap capital appreciation you normally got on the assets as well as if you have made long term investment so whatever the appreciation you will get that is known as your capital appreciation so the individual who makes an investment is known as the investor now in economic terms we can say that investment is defined as the net addition made to the capital stock of the country now net addition made to the capital stock of the country in the form of infrastructure uh, development like we are forming uh, roads bridges then uh, dams so these are the capital stock of the country so that is known as investment because the benefit of that will get in the future period of time whereas in financial terms we can say that investment is defined as allocating money to assets with a view to gain profit over a period of time this over a period of time can be a short term period or a long term period now another is investments in economic and financial terms are interrelated to each other where an individual savings flow into the capital market capital market here means your share market as financial investment which are further used as economic investment once you make the investment in the share market so directly or indirectly that money will definitely help to build the infrastructure of the country so that is why we can say that investments in economic and financial terms are interrelated to each other now these are the various characteristics of investments Uh, as you know that we are saying that investment is the commitment of or employment of funds in expectation of getting getting future benefits so if the future is concerned over here so future is always uncertain and where uncertainty is uh, there so risk always arises so that is why we uh, do investment for getting return but with the return there is always a risk because it is uh, future and future is always uncertain <clears throat> another characteristic of investment is your safety of your funds 
you always uh, try to uh, have a safe investment so that uh, your uh, investment would not be a failure then liquidity you uh, this investment will help you to maintain the liquidity of your funds you will definitely if the one of the objective of yours is to maintain the liquidity so definitely will choose choose those alternatives of investments which will give you the liquidity then definitely i have just explained you in terms of economics that investment always contributes to the capital formation because when you raise funds from the shareholders that definitely added on to your capital now there is a difference between real assets and financial assets real assets are the land and building furniture and machinery which can be tangible tangible means which can be movable which can be touched which can be seen right whereas financial assets are in terms of shares debentures bonds derivatives fixed deposits bills as well as loans as well as your savings accounts in the banks these are also known as paper securities because these are in the form of paper or dematerialized form in which you'll get the money after purchase and sale but you cannot see them right whereas in the real assets you can see the land and building you can see your furniture you can see your machinery as well now these assets are used for production of goods and services your real assets will help you to produce further goods and services whereas these assets are financial claims represented by the securities on these assets you will get the financial claims that you can get in the future period of time so basically real assets are those which can be seen which can be touched whereas financial assets are the financial claims which cannot be seen but they will help you to generate the resources <clears throat> i hope the difference between real assets and financial assets are clear now the another term which we can use in this subject is speculation now the question arises that whether speculation is good for the stock market or not so before going that we'll just know that what is the meaning of speculation speculation basically means taking business risk with the anticipation of acquiring short term gain so these short term gain starts from one day to few months right so that is speculation and the person who is undertaking this activity of speculation is known as speculator so basically it involves the practice of buying and selling activities in order to get profit from the price fluctuations it can be a day traders also means in the morning the price of the share would be say for example rupees 200 and the speculator knows that at the end of the day the price of this particular share will rise to 400 so what he is going to do he'll purchase it in the morning and at the end of the uh, before the closing of the market he'll sell at 400 keep the 200 uh, profit with him and move out of the market so this is known as speculation basically and yes speculation or a limited speculation is good for the stock market because if there is no speculation there would not be any kind of price fluctuations and if there would be in there would not be any kind of price fluctuations so there would not be any kind of abnormal profits all the investors will get the normal profits or the same profits so if you want to get uh, uh, abnormal profits or extra profits as compared to the other investors the so speculation is must for the stock market but yes i agree that uh, uh, it should be moderate lot of speculation is not good for the market because it definitely uh, hurt the investor sentiments now there is a difference between investor and speculator Uh, i hope with the meaning of speculation you might be clear about the difference but to make it more clear i'm just showing you the difference between investor and speculator the first basis of difference is time horizon now investor has a relatively longer planning horizon basically investor is that person who will make the investment for longer period of time not for few months but for more than one year whereas speculator have a very short planning horizon his holding period may be few days to months only investor uh, the risk level in uh, for the investor is less because he is investing for the longer period of time whereas the risk level for speculator is very high that is why he is getting more profit because we believe in higher the risk higher the profits now decision it attaches greater significance to fundamental factors and carefully evaluates the performance of the company investors basically invest on the basis of the performance of the company or they just evaluate the fundamental factors which includes the sales gdp of the country and everything on the basis of that they will just decide that in which company they would like to invest whereas speculator attaches greater significance to the market behavior the current market behavior as well as the 
inside information on the basis of that they will make the investment because they are not a long term investor on the basis of funds investors uses his own funds where a speculator borrowed funds will be used by him because he'll just purchase the shares in the morning and at the end of the day or maybe within few days or few months he'll just sell out those shares so he does not need his own funds he'll just borrow the funds for that many particular months and just give it back so this is the basic difference between investor and speculator so this doesn't means that investor is good and speculator is bad no everybody is good because they all they both of them are playing into their horizon investors are playing in the longer term period whereas speculators are playing in the short term short term period right so both are good if we cannot say that investors are good and speculators are not good we cannot say that because both are important for the stock market now another terms is are there that is gambling <clears throat> investment i have already explained you that is careful planning safety of returns should be there continuous returns should be there into that many particular investments and obviously long term commitment whereas gambling as the word is very negative kind of a thing which contains high risk high returns obviously i am saying you that this is the same that higher the risk higher the profits and uncertainty and unplanned gambling is totally uncertain as well as unplanned for example horse racing game of cards and lottery so this is the term which is known as gambling so this is the difference between investment and gambling i hope you would be able to understand these basic concepts of uh, uh, investments as 